Today I'm going to show you how to make this knitted pattern effect on your cake to add a warm and soft feel for that special little someone. It could be used as a lovely annual element on a first birthday cake or christening cake for example. It's easy to make so you won't be afraid to give it a go yourself. I hope you find it useful. You will need the following extracting tool, 50-50 fondant and sugar paste mix, parchment paper, water, vegetable shortening, small and large brush, and knife or exacto knife or razor blade. First extract four pieces of the paste, attach the ends using a little bit of water and start twisting them in opposite ways. Brush a tiny bit of water in the joints so they don't come apart and twist a little tighter. You can use your hands to, to slowly roll in opposite directions um, across the whole piece but be careful not to put too much pressure. Roll one by one but with the more practice you'll be able to roll two at the same time. Next you will need to prepare two pieces of parchment paper of the size of, of the height of your cake tier. I will explain later why you will need two pieces. I recommend to use this effect on the smaller tier of your cake uh, as you will need quite a few um, pieces to go all the way around the cake tier. Next, spread a vegetable shortening all over the parchment paper and start laying your twisted strings next to each other in opposite ways to create your knitted pattern. I actually used a bench scraper to align them next to each other nicely, but you can also use a ruler or um, a long knife, for example. When you've lined up about the same amount of um, strings as you can see here, roughly, then um, cut the bottom edge um, with the bottom edge of your parchment paper. This is the top side of the of the pattern that you can see here. Therefore, we need to use the other piece of parchment paper of the same size on top, so then we can transfer the piece onto the cake in the right way. The strings on the other side are a bit squashed, hence uh, it's better to use this reverse technique. It's important to spread vegetable shortening on the top parchment paper piece as well, so that the strings attach to it in order to pick it up easily. Gently press down all the way across the piece. With a large brush, evenly spread water on your cake tier where your sheet of string is going on to. Not too much water though. Then slide the whole piece of, of the table and flip in your hands to remove the bottom parchment paper, keeping the top parchment paper on. Line up the bottom of your sheet with the bottom of your tear and attach the whole sheet of strings from one side to another and gently smooth down. Leave for about 10 minutes or so and then cut off the top edge uh, using either exacto knife or at best um, a razor blade. And repeat this whole process until your until your tear is completely covered. And your beautiful knitted pattern is all done. For this elephant cake I used a couple of layers of the same pattern in different colours to create this knitted heart logo using a heart shape cutter. If you would like to create something similar then make sure you leave the sheet of strings lay for some time before you cut out a shape into it so that the strings are firm, firmly glued together first. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and will find it useful. If anything was unclear, then feel free to pop your questions uh, in the comments below. I will be happy to answer. More tutorials on children's cakes coming soon. Next picture tutorial will be about how to create cute baby girl shoes that can be used as a cake popper. Mm -hmm.